G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, refurbing a PC part 2, and this one we're going to go through updating the BIOS, now unfortunately I didn't get a video of the BIOS actually updating, but I'll show you the steps to go through with the BIOS update, and I'll show you what the BIOS is now, and what it was, but first, why do you update a BIOS, well simple, Regardless of whether you've bought a PC or a server and you're either you're going to put it back into run mode and also if it's around the 18 months to two years mark, undoubtedly there will be a BIOS update for it. Now, updating the BIOS has many uh, advantages to it. Obviously, system stability, really the operating system you finally decide to put on this unit. But also upgrades to your video chip and possibly your RAID controller, your USB 3 controllers, Ethernet controllers, video controllers, everything like that. As well as obviously the general firmware update for the, uh, for the board itself. So this is a Core i5, it's at I think 3.1 gig, um, but very well much overclockable up to 3.4 gig. The board also has GPU boost control, which is good. So, what we'll do now is power it up, and I will take you into the BIOS. When and if it decides to start. I've noticed with some of these professional boards, they're a bit slow to um, kick up. Alright, so here we are in the BIOS. And I'll just uh, move a bit closer to the screen here. Actually, I should probably straighten the screen up a bit, shouldn't I? That's a bit better. So, the BIOS was at 0404, it's now at 4802, 3.1 gig, it's overclocked to 3.2 gig, but it can go faster than that. And uh, this is the BIOS, now it's an American Megatrends BIOS, but I'm running the ASUS UFEI BIOS utility. We'll go in and have a look at the advanced mode. And... When you update your BIOS, you need to then reset all your systems. Now, I've already set part of the overclock for here. I can obviously go higher if I wish. There we go there. Now, the other thing you're going to have to be careful of here is your SATA configuration. Now, when you update your BIOS, most of the time, and I, I put the emphasis there on most of the time, the SATA mode selection will go back to IDE. Now, obviously, you're going to uh, reset that back to... Um, AACI. This board does not um, allow for raiding, but that's fine. I don't often raid a PC. I more often raid a server, but I don't necessarily need to raid a PC. And obviously, we'll be running our smart status check. Now, to update the, um, the BIOS on, especially in a Zeus motherboard, it's fairly easy, and I'll show you how to do that now. Firstly, you go to the website of your motherboard's manufacturer. You download and possibly unzip the latest BIOS update to a USB stick. You put your USB stick in. You can put it in with the machine on or off. doesn't really matter. And with the Yazoo system, you simply go into the Easy Flash 2 utility. You go into that, and then obviously it'll be there. You'll get the ROM file from here, and you simply go through the upgrade process. Once it's upgraded everything, it'll obviously go into a reboot state in order to set itself up. So that's setting up the BIOS. Now, once you've got... And also, I've put uh, 8 gig of uh, RAM in this unit. Now, once you've updated your BIOS and everything like that, the next thing you obviously want to do is hard drive selection and any other uh, peripheral components that have got to go into the unit. And... At this stage, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one yet. I've got another uh, PC that's on a refurb as well, so I've got to make my mind up what I'm going to do with the two of them. I haven't quite decided yet. But as I said, that's how to do the BIOS update and get the BIOS ready for a complete new system. Now, refurbing a PC, there are... Some people have a bit of a stigma about it that there's no need to refurb a PC. You may as well just buy a new one. Well, I, I tend to argue the point that updating the BIOS, putting in some new hardware, upgrading your RAM and or graphics card and uh, 
maybe a Wi-Fi adapter or, or some such thing, can actually extend the life of your your unit, regardless of whether it's a PC or a, um, a server. And so when I do this sort of stuff, and I do it fairly regularly, I do it on both server primarily and the occasional PC, the first thing I always do is upgrade the firmware of the motherboard. That That's vital. Also improves your, um, you know, you'll have some um, firmware upgrades for maybe, um, you know, the interrupt and DMA systems between the proc and the RAM and also any other controllers uh, that are on the board, as well as obviously the BIOS and uh, the CMOS system as well. And frankly, the, the times that I have done refurbs in the past, both on server and PC, the life, ex the life extension to the unit has gone up by three or four years. Now, in that time, you can save up to get another unit in that time. But if you've invested thousands of dollars in a server or a PC, and as the old saying goes, you know, about six to 12 months, it's, it's obsolete. A refurb can give you more life. It can extend the production value of the, of the system upwards of three to five years, depending on how much load you put on it. So there's getting the system ready. Now all we've got to do is obviously hard drive, some other peripheral systems around the place, and then an operating system. Now, there are actually only two operating systems by default that I will put on a refurbed PC. That would be Windows 10 or Ferran OS. They're the only two I'll put on uh, currently. I'm still testing Maluku Linux. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still testing Maluku Linux um, to see whether or not it's worth me passing it on to people who want me to um, fix up their computers. And at this stage... It's somewhat still a development series, so I'm not exactly keen on it. But Ferron and Windows are probably the two I'll, uh, I'll decide what to do with. All right, so that's that computer s sorted out. So the next thing in part three is we'll drop a hard drive into it. We'll drop an operating system onto it. Uh, probably initially I'll just drop Windows 7 on it um, just to be done with it. Um, or even maybe just drop Windows 10 on, onto it and be done with it. And um, then we'll do some tweaking of the system. Anyway, refurbing a PC part two. Thank you very much for watching. Stick around. Part three will be coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.